Do you guys want to see my dog? Here he is. Hi. Well, I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we are gonna be making a crochet bikini. Crochet bikini. And personally, I have never made a crochet bikini before, but because it is crochet season, I'm just like really in the groove to make one today and tomorrow. I probably won't finish it today. But if you don't know what crochet season is, it's pretty much a term I just made up right now for summertime because I really like wearing crochet pieces in the summer. Anyways, for my supplies for this crochet bikini, I have this yarn here. And I believe most of it or all of it is cotton yarn. Some of it is thrifted, these, so I'm not 100% sure, but these are definitely cotton yarn. And I know there's a lot of, con not really controversy, but there's a lot of discussion of what yarn you should use for an actual bikini. And when I've been researching, no one gave me the answer. Some people said, do not use cotton. Some people said, use polyester. And then some people said, don't use polyester because it's very uncomfortable. But then people say, don't use cotton because it can get very heavy in the water. <sighs> yeah, so I'm using cotton. That's what I chose for this. I don't know if I'm really going to actually, you know, do lots of swimming in it but I'm at least gonna wear it to the beach. And then for my lining, which is optional, it is just some swimwear lining. I'm just going to sew this into the bottoms after. I don't think I'm gonna sew it into the top. I think just the bottoms, just. But these are all the supplies that I'm gonna be using for the bikini. So to start off with, I'm going to use my purple here and we're gonna do some chain stitches. So to start off with, I started doing a whole bunch of chain stitches to start off my crochet project, like every single crochet project. And then after that, I decided I wanted to do single crochet stitches because I thought that would be the best for the least amount of things to pop through the swimsuit. So I did that. And then when I got to the end, the top, I did five single crochets in the top and then I worked my way around the other side. So now I have this little crochet thing. And this is going to be the base of my top. It's like the middle part. And I'm pretty much just going to go around it until I get the shape, the size, the shape and the size I want. I just finished the Harry Potter series and it was so good. It was amazing. That was my first time reading it slash listening to it. And it was just so good. I'm listening to the whole series again. I'm on the second book again. So I decided to turn on my Harry Potter book and just go at it because I realized now listening to the books for the second time, how much I missed the first time around. Like I do not remember any of this. I, I don't remember. I was like, was I listening to this book? Did I listen to this book? Because there's so many things I missed. So more of the story, reread books. Okay, update time update time okay well i'm gonna try it my very best after i'm done making this bikini to write a pattern quickly so we all can enjoy crochet season and have our own crochet bikini this summer that's what i want in life right now is to have a crochet bikini and i bet some of you out there want that too just take another look at these colors look at those wow so my absolute favorite thing about crocheting and knitting is that I can I can do it on the couch. So I'm gonna go knit, or I mean crochet, on the couch. Ow! But while I'm crocheting there, you know, Jenna's working on her top there, I feel like I should give you a little tour of my plants because I do get comments every so often saying, do a plant tour, show me your plants. So here's a little mini plant tour of a couple of my favorite plants. But before that, here's Benson. So my absolute favorite plant, my favorite plant in the whole wide world is a Monstera Thai constellation. And luckily last year I got rid of my arm and leg and I bought this one and luckily I did not kill it. It has been thriving. It's even got a new fenestration. It's my favorite. My next one is this begonia. It's a polka dot one. And this one's super easy to care for. And it's like constantly popping out new leaves. I don't know why. 
I don't know if it's me, but it's doing well. And then my last, my third favorite plant is this Chinese evergreen. And it is just so pink. They're not typically this pink, but for some reason I got lucky and it just keeps popping up pink leaves. But anyways, that's it for my plant tour. Those are my three favorite plants right now. I have a lot more, but um, yeah, this whole video could be just about plants if I showed you all my plants. So let's get back to the crochet. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Birch. So personally, I've had my Birch mattress for over two months and since we've gotten it, we have slept incredible. Right, Benson? Even Benson's a big fan. If you haven't heard of Birch before, they make these eco-conscious but very comfortable mattresses. These non-toxic mattresses are made here right in America and they're actually made from organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. One of my favorite things about my Birch mattress is that it's made from natural and organic materials. Therefore, there is no harsh chemicals in the mattress and there's also no off-gassing when they manufactured it. Throughout the making of this mattress, all of the materials are sourced ethically and Birch also works to protect the working condition in their factory. But my absolute favorite thing about Birch is how easy it is to set up and also get. When you order your Birch mattress, it actually just shows up to your front door, you take it out of the box and you can lay it down on your bed and it will expand really quickly. All of Birch's mattresses come with a 100 night sleep trial and a 25 year warranty. But if you guys are in the US, you actually will get your Birch mattress shipped to you guys for free. If you guys are looking for a new mattress, you guys should definitely check out Birch. Use my link down below in the description, birch.com slash P, and you guys will get $400 off your mattress and two free pillows. So I have some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the good news. Good news is I finished the cup and I like it. I love the pattern and the colors. Bad news is it's too big for my boob. It's too big for my little boobs. And the reason why it's too big is because I did change the pattern a little bit going around and I didn't really think that this would affect it, but it did. Did change the depth, the load, the volume of what the cup could hold. And it can hold a lot more and I want it to be able to hold a lot less. So I gotta go back to the drawing board because I really want this to fit perfect because I know if it's too big and it doesn't fit right, I'm just not gonna wear it. And I wanna wear it all the time. Like when I'm going to the beach. So that night and the next morning, I started working on the new pattern and luckily the second pattern I made actually worked out. So I worked on it until I got one cup. Is that what we're calling it? One full cup done. I was happy with it before I moved on and started working on the second one. Good morning, Benson. Good morning. Look at you. Hmm. So I have good news. I spit on my face. Very good news because I finally figured out the perfect pattern for each bikini cup. I don't know what you call them individually, but I got my pattern for the bikini. This is what the first one looks like. I haven't fixed the strands yet. It fits a lot better now. I even made it a bit longer so I can fold it over on the inside and then have, you know, the string go through, which I did not think about the first time around. So, <sighs> I'm so happy I figured it out now. So happy. So the only difference from the last cup to this cup is I increased my chain stitches and I also switched up my stitch to a double crochet, which ended up being a lot quicker and a lot nicer so pretty much i was able to bang out two of them in like one morning which it took me a whole day to do the single crochet one look how much i have done already it is almost done and that probably only took me like less than an hour i don't know i wasn't timing it i was just watching some shows and then all of a sudden i was almost done but that's all for my updates other than i did get two tattoos on the weekend so let's all just ignore the red mark here my skin's fine. I just 
I think there was chocolate on it, so I just rubbed it off. Anyways, I ended up getting the two tattoos on this arm. So the first one I got is this little banana on the back of my arm. And then the second one's on the inside of my arm and it's a toque, AKA a beanie or a hat, whatever you wanna call it in your country. I just finished the other piece. So now I have two pieces, cups for the bikini. Here they are. <laughs> they look so cute. I'm so excited for it. But instead of actually finishing the bikini top, I really feel like starting the bottoms just because I'm watching some YouTube shows and I just feel like sitting here crocheting mindlessly and watching some YouTube. So that's what I'm gonna do. And for the bottoms, so my plan, here's my plan. I have this swim suit bottom piece here that I'm going to use as my model. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crochet back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, you know, for the whole bottom piece. So it's just gonna be one piece and it's gonna kinda look like that. So I started working on it and of course, pretty much right away, I made a mistake. I didn't decrease decrease yeah decrease at the right time so I had to take apart more of my work and pretty much restart after a bit luckily I didn't like go too far into it I just went a little bit and then had to restart but then after that I was pretty golden very golden so as you guys just saw I had to restart my bottoms what's new just restarting everything over here but I am a lot happier with the shape now it definitely needed a pointed top not a flat top because that won't work for little strappy strings so this is how much I have I'm like a quarter of the way I'm halfway done the front piece so it's pretty decent the progress and I think it's gonna go even quicker now because you know it's just getting smaller and smaller because this is technically the top like my hips then it's got to go down I'm gonna try to create this part next like it's gonna be one full piece so from the front all the way to the booty. <sighs> okay, so last night I didn't finish the bottom, even I was trying to, but then I just got really tired and then I was like, yeah, I'll just go to bed. So this is how much I got done. Pretty good, right? I think it looks great. I love the pattern that I've made, but when I went to try it on this morning, and it's not like I can actually try it on, I just pretty much hold it up like this to like measure if it's good. And um, I made the crotch part too long, so it's a little bit too skinny in the front for me. So I ended up taking more apart again. I, I, this whole video is just me crocheting, taking it apart, crocheting, taking it apart, crocheting, taking it apart, crocheting, taking it apart. You know, you get it. That's what it's like making your own patterns. It's just making something and then destroying it, making something and then destroying it, and then making something a little bit better and then destroying it. It's exhilarating. So I just finished the bottoms here. This is what it looks like from the front in the back and I'm just gonna quickly try it on to make sure it's like the right size, the right length, which is a little bit difficult when it doesn't have a side. Just tie the string a little bit on the side. So the back fits really good, but I'm thinking the front is too tall, like it's too high waisted, like it's almost on my belly button. And I don't really know if I like that style for this type of bottom. Yeah, it's too tall. So I'm gonna take apart the front. I think I'm gonna take it down to there. Think that's better? Okay, so for my next step, I have the swimwear looking like this right now. Not looking too hot. So to fix it up, I'm gonna do a single crochet along the whole edge of my piece here before I start to put it together. This will just make it look a bit more tidier. I'll tuck in the loose ends. It'll just, you know, finish it off. After that, that is when I'm going to start on the straps. And for the straps, I'm going to use fabric, the stretchy spandex swim fabric. And you technically could just make straps with your crochet yarn, but 
I don't really want to because it won't be as comfy. It won't fit as nice, you know, get loose throughout the day. I'll stretch out. It's just, I want it to be more snug. So that is why I'm going to use a stretchy. I'm also going to put elastic in there just so it hugs my body, you know, when I'm trying to do a cannonball in the pool. Okay, next step. Next step, I'm just going to cut out the lining and then we'll do the straps and then we're going to sew it all onto my swimsuit. So for the lining, I'm just putting it down on my lining fabric and then I'm just tracing around it with seam allowance all the way around. I'm gonna cut it out, then I'm gonna fold it in the inside, sew it down and Bob's your uncle. So now a quick tutorial for the straps. So what I did was I took my straps, I folded them in half and then I took my elastic, I put it on the raw edge and I put it on my serger and sewed them all together. You can also do this on your sewing machine with the zigzag stitch. After that, I took the elastic on the edge and I fed it through the center so we have the right sides facing out and you don't see the elastic anymore and it is a nice stretchy elastic. I then fed the elastic through the top of my bikini, through the sides of my bikini bottoms and then sewed those together so I had all my straps on my bikini. So guys, I finished! I finished the swimsuit! I have it on because I was just like way too excited. I had to try it on and I have it on now and I'm ready to show you guys. I'm ready to show you guys this amazing swimsuit I made today. Ta-da! So the first thing I gotta say is this swimsuit feels so good. Like it feels so nice. And I was really worried making this that I was making a crochet swimsuit. It was not gonna feel so good. So good. Because it's cotton. It's not a stretchy spandex which we're used to. So I was a little nervous, but by adding the lining and these stretchy straps, it feels like a normal swimsuit, I gotta say. It feels so good. I don't know how well it's gonna do in water, but it's good to you know, just be at the beach with and be by the pool. I will test it to see if it's good in water. Not right now, but in the future, I'll let you guys know. This is the best swimsuit to ever exist. It's true. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed making this crochet bikini with me. I'm going to try my best to make a pattern ASAP just because I really do like this swimsuit. I really wanna make another one. So if you guys wanna make one, I'll have a link down below in the description when the pattern's available. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram and I'll tell you guys there when it's out. But that is it. <sighs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eat dinner, so. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.